Hey folks, thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Yellow Hat, and today we're returning to our Gun Guide series where we go over all the stats and quirks of each weapon in Pavlov VR. In today's episode, we're going to continue our in-depth look at the modern assault rifles of Pavlov, and we're going to talk about a weapon that was recently buffed, and that weapon is the AK-12. The AK-12 was buffed a couple of updates ago, and the main question behind it is, now that it's been buffed, is it any good? So, to answer that question, let's start with the AK-12 stats. The AK-12 deals a base damage of 25, meaning that it's a 4 hit kill to an unarmored player. The armor damage of this weapon is 45, meaning that it takes 3 hits to strip a player's armor off. The armor penetration value, however, of this weapon is 100%, meaning that the AK-12 is going to retain its 4 hit kill value to armored players. The helmet damage is 100, meaning that the AK-12 will take a player's helmet off in one hit. However, the helmet penetration is actually 74%, meaning that the AK-12 will need two shots to the head to kill a helmeted player. To add to this, the 74% means that if you headshot a full health player, you'll still need two body shots to finish them off. This puts the weapon behind the M4 in that regard. The bullet velocity of the AK-12 is the slowest of all the rifles, and it's in fact actually tied with the PP Bison, which is an SMG by the way, and the bullet velocity is 1,640 feet per second. This means that at further distances, you'll have to lead your shots ever so slightly more than other rifles. The magazine capacity of the AK-12 is 30 rounds plus one in the chamber, which is in line with pretty much all the other assault rifles. The AK-12 has the second slowest fire rate of any automatic weapon in Pavlov, as it shoots at just 631 rounds per minute. With its 4 shot kill capabilities though, the AK-12's time to kill sits at 280 milliseconds, which up close basically competes with the M4. Anyways, with the numbers out of the way, let's go over how to reload the AK-12. The reload process on the AK-12 is relatively simple, just pull out the magazine with your trigger grip, grab a fresh one from your pouch, and if you need to do a full reload, rack the charge handle on the right side. Another way to reload the weapon is to knock out the magazine with a fresh one. To do this, grab a magazine from your pouch and then with a little bit of velocity, hit the mag that's in the gun with the mag that's in your hand. I find that it's best to tilt the weapon slightly for more consistency with this. After you finish styling on them with your cool reloads, you can put the new mag in and you're all good to go. Before we get to the economic overview, let's have a look at the AK-12's recoil pattern. The recoil of this weapon is its absolute downfall, as if you try to spray with it, you'll just be shooting at the ceiling. It's best to try and go for 4-5 to five round bursts for maximum effectiveness. The weapon grips don't help much with the vertical recoil, so avoid full autoing an entire mag with this weapon, unless you're up close. From an economic standpoint, the AK-12 is a decent choice in most situations, although it is definitely overshadowed by the AK-47 and the M4, which we'll get to later in the video. The AK-12 costs $2,600 and it has a kill bonus reward of $300. Since the AK costs $2,600, this means that the minimum amount of money you need to buy armor and an AK is $3,250. In order to buy a helmet and an AK-12, you need $3,600, and I'd recommend this buy more so that you have a better time dealing with other AK-12 or M4 users. In terms of attachments, the AK-12 can take all grips, sights, and the suppressor. I'd absolutely recommend getting either the vertical grip or the angled grip. Unlike other weapons, the vertical grip for this weapon might be more worth it since the AK-12 has so much vertical recoil. The angled grip might help get rid of the horizontal recoil, but you'll have to pull down a bit more than, say, with the vertical grip. In the end, what grip you choose with this weapon is more personal preference than anything. With all this mentioned, I feel that you should buy the AK-12 when your team is more or less economically stable and you have at least $4,000. This is to account for any utility that you may need for the round. The weapon can be forced bought. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just force buy an AK-47 or an M4 if you have the money to do so. So, what are my thoughts on the AK-12? 
While it has solid DPS capabilities after its buff and not a lot of horizontal recoil, I feel that its massive vertical recoil, its price point, and its slower bullet velocity hold it back compared to the other rifles. It loses out at long range to an M4, and for $100 cheaper, you can just buy an AK-47, which doesn't require any attachments to be good, and it can obtain one-hit headshots no matter what, something the AK-12 cannot do. I feel that when faction weapons come to the game, the AK-12 won't be able to hold up well to the M4 without some changes to its recoil and its bullet velocity. If the weapon does get improved recoil and bullet velocity, then perhaps I could recommend it more highly, but for now, it's a weapon that only really works at close range, and even then, there's better options than the AK-12. If there were any stats that you didn't see covered that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what weapon you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something useful from this video. If you did, and if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with when I upload. Be sure to also check out my social links in the description below. Thank you again for watching, I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy!